Well, I'm a film producer and at the moment we're working on a number of projects, particularly with uh, partners in China. We're working with a Finnish director called Mika Karazmaki, who's a wonderful guy. And we've just finished filming in Lapland on a film called Master Cheng. And we're going to Hangzhou in China next month to complete the filming there. We really want to maintain our relationship basis because the business relationships that we're building with China hopefully will be long-lasting and have good value. Well, so how long does each project usually take to kind of complete? Is that a ridiculous oh, question? It is the most ridiculous question in the world. <laughs> uh, I've got projects I still want to do that I started mm. 25 years ago <laughs> with my great friend Alistair Gray, who's a Scottish author. It can vary. Mm -hmm. It can be two to three years on minimum, really, for getting a, a medium-sized independent movie done. Um, and, you know, a bit longer if you're doing a big studio picture. But, uh, you know, a year from development funding through to shooting and then post-production post is a bit the norm. What would you say to anyone that's trying to get into production who wants to be a producer? What's the kind of... What's your kind of advice? It's kind of probably old school advice, which is start at the bottom or, or whatever jobs you can. And whatever you're doing, do it to the best you can do, whether it's making tea or, or driving actors or doing whatever, because every single functional element is important in the film business in one way or another. And, you know, listen constantly to as many people as you can who you you admire or respect because that's where you're going to get your real education in production. And what do you think of Pinewood's new five to nine event networking? Uh, I think it's a great event. Mm -hmm. It's really in, enjoyable and it's very nice because of course you see old friends. And, yeah. um, it, but it's a great place to uh, certainly be meeting new people and mm -hmm. new talent as well. So I think it's a great event. Yeah. And do you think social media has helped a lot in production, especially production distribution, or do you think it's just oversaturated and actually uh, it's not helping? Well, you're quite right to mention oversaturation because actually the more blind you are to many things, it can actually, uh, the more volume things are, it can actually blind you to a uh, very good product because, you know, a still image presentation can be sometimes deceptive. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, certain things may go by, but I think, you know, used in a sensible way and it's something actually we're looking at particularly in projects where we're co-producing mm. uh, it's unavoidable in China because social media is much more of a, a, a way of life in many respects I think um, and I think in the West there's a catch up being played certainly by mm. the, the, the delivery mechanisms mm. that exist in China so I think that yes, of course, it has a, a great impact. It's how one controls it and delivers into it. I think that's important. And what's the one thing that makes a really good producer? Then the one thing that's like, yeah, this is what you have to have to be a producer. Oh, uh, mm, mm. <laughs> apart from a large amount of money, which usually <laughs> helps, uh, I think persistence mm. and uh, a willingness to learn and listen to the people you work with. Um, if people are working just for you then I think you're sort of losing out on the capabilities that they truly bring to it. So working with people, uh, and it's one of the great joys I have, um, is really at the script stage and development stage, working with people I admire, you know, and being able to try and nurse something through to fruition. That's, but perseverance is absolutely a quality that's demanded. And you need to be very organised, right? It helps to be organised, but sometimes the best producers can be quite scatological as well, you know, because... Uh, sometimes you could be making decisions in your own brain that you think you've already delivered the answers to somewhere else. But um, yeah. you always need good people around you uh, yeah. and trust. And so having very good, I think I'm, I'm a very collaborative kind of person, so mm -hmm. I like to have people that you feel comfortable working with and, and that you get to know each other uh, yeah. together. So I don't view it as a sole description being a producer. Mm -hmm. it's, it's merely a tag that fits together with a group of people's activities.